Hi everyone, this is Katie Groves, and I want to apologize for the poor lighting. I, um, I'm really exhausted and traumatized right now, and having brighter lights in here would make doing this a lot harder, so I'm just recording this as I most comfortably and safely can. Um, I'm making this video just to give you guys, um, a formal video update on how things are going since my live stream. Um, there's a lot that I'm not going to cover because I've already covered it in Tumblr posts or in um, community posts and in um, pinned comments on my most recent video on the live stream, I mean. So um, I'm just going to put links to what I can there. Um, but um, regarding any new information, I um, I was able to sleep, and so was my boyfriend. Um, I ended up sleeping for about 14 hours, and thankfully, the timing of it will not be detrimental to my sleep schedule, as I have worked extremely hard um, for a very long time to get my sleep schedule where I want it to be, which is going to bed extremely early and waking up extremely early. I woke up around 4 or 5 this morning, which is my target time for waking up, between 4 and 6, and so um, I am happy about that. And uh, my boyfriend, he actually has gotten more sleep than me. Um, he went to sleep a bit before I did yesterday. So both of us are doing better because of that. And um, I'm mostly just going to talk about how I'm coping um, because I don't really want to speak too much for my boyfriend. And honestly, I've hardly been able to communicate with him much about how he's doing um, because I've been so stuck in my own trauma um, since I made the live stream. Um, but I'm not in actual crisis or anything. I am doing reasonably well, and I guess I'm just going to go ahead and talk about that here. So, um, yeah, I got sleep. Um, the main thing I've been trying to deal with, um, the main thing that's, you know, in the forefront of my mind, um, has actually been, um, the negative comments that I received on the live stream, um, I already have addressed that in a Tumblr post and in the comment that is currently pinned on my live stream. So those of you who want to know more about that can mostly just look there. Um, but I will just say that while I have been doing a lot better lately in general with dealing with negative comments, so much better than I have ever done before, um, the level of trauma that I've dealt with in the last couple of days and the lack of sleep has caused me to have a very difficult time coping with this stuff. Um, I recognize that a lot of the comments I got were probably from shills. Um, and if you guys actually go to the comments, you won't see hardly any of what I'm talking about because I have deleted um, a lot of them. But um, it seems like a lot of people reacted by making um, really false assumptions about my boyfriend's situation and uh, my situation with him. And, um, it's just been really frustrating to see. A lot of people have given unasked for medical advice, been really demanding and aggressive about it, and, um, just really presumptuous in general. Um, but like I said, I've already addressed that in a Tumblr post and in the comment that's pinned on there, so you guys can just look for that there. Um, and to those of you whose comments I've deleted, to those of you I've blocked over this, um, I want you to know that um, I know that some of you truly meant well, and um, I hope that if you have really taken this personally and feel really offended by my um, reactions to you and your comments, that you will try to understand that, um, first of all, I'm in a place of heavy trauma, and also... Um, I just, um, I just don't think that a lot of you truly understand um, what boundaries are and what codependence is, and I hope that you guys, for your own healing and recoveries, as well as for the benefits of those around you, will look into that stuff more if you're able. Um, I myself have struggled terribly with codependence and boundary issues, and I have gotten a lot better um, by doing inner work and research around those subjects. Um, so I really can testify that it helps. It can do a lot of good for your life um, if you open up more to the idea that maybe you have a problem with boundaries. 
So that all said, um, what I'm going to be focusing on today is trying to ground myself, trying to reestablish um, certain uh, lines of intercommunication amongst my dissociative system that have been lost because of all of the trauma. Um, the very next thing that I'm going to be processing after finishing processing stuff around the comments um, will be um, a traumatic experience I had while I was in the hospital with my boyfriend where um, somebody who is very triggering for me and who I suspect I have a trauma history with that I'm unaware of showed up briefly to the hospital. Um, they are somebody who works in the medical field and um, I didn't actually talk to them but I saw them there. Um, they, I caught them out of the corner of my eye staring me down as I walked into um, the room my boyfriend was in after I had stepped outside to make outside of the room to make a phone call. Um, and um, I'm having a lot of flashbacks to things with this person that I didn't even know happened. So um, that's going to be very painful and difficult for me. Um, some parts have come up saying that they think that we actually may um, know this person from um, from Texas. So this may not be someone that I have um, had um, more trauma with than I am aware of here where I'm living now, but I think this may be somebody that I actually knew from the cult when I was growing up. And so this is going to be a challenging thing for me to deal with, um, knowing that they're in the area I'm in is very frightening for me. Um, but um, I also want to say I'm not sure if they officially work at the hospital that I um, was in, so I'm not necessarily making any claims about someone who's employed at the hospital that I named in my live stream. And I just want to make that clear for legal reasons. Um, this doesn't necessarily have to do with the hospital that I mentioned explicitly. Okay, um, I'm not sure what else to say. Oh, I guess just that um, I will be posting this to YouTube, as you guys will see. Um, I do not really wish to stick with YouTube. However, I don't want to be rash in jumping onto a new online platform. Um, YouTube, despite all of the issues I've had with it, um, has been a platform that I've been pretty comfortable with, and I have obviously been quite successful. Um, in building a following here. Uh, I'm nervous about losing a lot of my following if I move to another platform, and I'm just nervous about not finding um, wherever I move to fully accessible. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be looking into two sites specifically, no, actually three sites specifically, um, Vimeo, BitChute, and DLive. These are all places that have been recommended to me. Um, of course, I'm naturally distrustful of anything that is suggested to me in comments unless it is done so by someone who I trust personally, but um, a lot of people have suggested these sites to me and I will be looking into them and I will be making um, at least one backup channel um, probably on one of those sites and um, I will put a link to it in the description of this video as soon as I do. Um, and um, if in the event that I lose this YouTube channel, I will be posting there if I can. Now, because I have been targeted so extensively on YouTube, I am suspicious that if I make a backup channel somewhere else, um, that that won't get messed with or lost too. So if I disappear from here and you guys don't see me um, posting on wherever I have linked in the description, um, I just encourage you guys to uh, keep looking for my name online. Um, I will be doing everything I can to stay vocal, and I also do have um, some other sites. I have a Tumblr, like I've mentioned. Um, I also have an art Tumblr, but I've hardly posted to that, and I'm rather self-conscious about it. I'll still put a link to it in the description, and um, I also have a WordPress, um, deprogrammingmonarch.wordpress.com, um, which is a place where I have been trying to transcribe my deprogramming series into text form. That's something that I haven't been able to make a lot of progress on um, um, because of my trauma stuff, but um, I am currently working on transcribing part three of that series, and I will slowly but surely be continuing to post there. 
um, so I intend. So um, just letting you guys know that uh, there are other places I'm already active online and I will be continuing to branch out and trying to find a place where I can most safely express myself and stay in touch with y'all. Okay, I think that's all I have to say. Um, a part does want to conclude this by thanking everyone for being supportive and understanding. Um, there are people who, one person in particular, who passed judgment about the fact that I made the live stream at all because the sound of um, my boyfriend being sick in the background could be heard. I want to be very clear that I had his permission to make that live stream, and I did that because I felt that we were in an emergency situation in which I had to do something to make contact with you guys, and it had to be immediate, and it was not safe for me to leave that room, to leave him alone at that moment, um, or to make the live stream anywhere outside of it, so I just did what I had to do, and um, I want to thank everyone who has understood that. Okay, that's all I've got. Um, yeah, I'm sending lots and lots of love um, to all of you guys right now um, who have supported me and to all of you who have been triggered um, by the live stream. I really did not want to trigger anyone. But like I said, it was an emergency situation and I did what I felt that I had to do um, for me and my boyfriend. And for everyone else um, who follows me on here because I know that what I'm doing is important to a lot of you and I know that a lot of you truly want me to do what I have to do to protect myself and my work. Okay, that is truly all I've got for this. Sorry if this is kind of fragmented. Um, I'm still very triggered and very tired. Thanks.